What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am teaching you my favorite shortcuts that I always use inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Keyboard shortcuts are one of those things every editor should know eventually. Doesn't mean you're gonna know them right off the bat and it doesn't mean that it's not going to take you time to learn them. However, it should be saving you a lot of time, especially if you're someone like me that's pumping out multiple videos a week. Having these keyboard shortcuts can really save you a lot of time and it adds up in the end. So that's what I'm gonna teach you guys how to do today inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's load it up and get going. So the first keyboard shortcut I use all the time has to do with importing footage. So inside DaVinci Resolve, whether you're in the media storage bin or you're in the edit bin or the cut page. So up here, I'm gonna just be on this little spot right here. I'm gonna hit Command I on a Mac. It's gonna bring up what I have right here. I am going to go to documents where I have it, art grid. I'm gonna click all of them that I have, hit enter and now I have them. Now, of course, there are multiple different ways you can do this. You can drag and drop them from some other tab or you can go to the media storage and actually import them there. I just prefer to use Command I on a Mac. It just is easiest for me to bring it in. The second one that I use all the time is creating a timeline. I do not like using the timeline by just dragging the clip in there and dropping it in. If you're doing that, whatever this clip is set, which let's go over here to file and look, this is a 1920 by 1080 video clip. I don't want to use a 1080 timeline, I actually want a 4K timeline. So I'm gonna hit Command N and it's gonna bring up a new timeline. And right here, I can either use the project settings it has set or I can uncheck that and go to the format and change it to 4K like I would want it to be. Instead of dragging and dropping them into whatever Resolve is saying you should do, I just go ahead and make a new timeline and that doesn't take that much time at all. Of course, if you're editing, you're gonna be doing a lot of cutting and you can just hit Command B and it will cut whatever your cursor is laying on top of. Now let's say our cut wasn't exactly perfect. I'm gonna hit Command and I'm gonna plus in just to zoom into my timeline. You can do the same thing by Command minus. Again, all this is right here in the toolbar, but this is all about making a faster workflow. If we don't like this or the cut is good, we're gonna to go to another Command shortcut and we're just gonna hit Shift Delete and it's gonna delete that out and Ripple Delete everything together. Let's say we forgot about ripple delete and we just deleted that out of there. And you're like, oh, I don't really want to highlight maybe an entire timeline you have. You can just click right here in between the clips and you can delete that and it will do the same thing. However, ripple delete will save you a lot of time, especially if you're doing something like this with talking head and I mess up all the time. Now this one I have mentioned in a previous video, but it is very important and it is L and J cuts. So I went on ahead and grabbed some music, brought it in here. We're just going to pretend it's the audio of the same talking head shot which I do a lot. So the best way to do it is click on the clip you are we're gonna hit option and we're just gonna drag it out a little bit and you can see that it'll start to cut over a little bit. Now, if we don't like the way it's snapping, we can just hit in and it will shut off our magnet. So now I can hit option and I can barely drag it over two seconds. I can hit in again if I wanna turn that back on. Using L and J cuts is something that will keep your sentences full and not cut the audio off, but maybe keep the video moving just a little bit faster. Now, before we get to any more keyboard shortcuts, let's talk about the sponsor of this video and that is ArtGrid. I've been using ArtGrid for over a year now and I have always been impressed by the quality of video clips that are coming out and they're pumping so many more out on a daily. Their footage looks so good it can slip into any video you're putting together and it will go unnoticed. ArtGrid's amazing subscription plan is so much better than paying for the stock footage videos that every other website does per clip. It gets very expensive so having this that covers you for the entire year and being able to use all these clips in all your projects it's a no-brainer in my book. I will have a link in the description below if you want two extra free months when you sign up for a subscription plan. Thank you so much ArtGrid for sponsoring this video and sponsoring creators like me. This next one I also use all the time. It's copying and pasting effects. So let's say this clip we want to zoom it in all the way there and we want this clip to match it. So for that trick you click the clip you want, you hit Command C, you go over to the next clip and you hit Option V. It's going to bring this up and it's gonna let you know, hey, what do you want to paste? Well, I know I wanna paste the zoom and position because maybe I moved it to center it a little bit more. Let's say we have a color correction, which we don't for now. We're gonna hit Enter and now it's going to match it perfectly. Moving along, we're talking about speed ramping. Again, I have done a dedicated video to speed ramping and masking, but we're talking about keyboard shortcuts and I don't think I hit that really in that video. We're gonna make sure the clip that we want to speed ramp is selected. I like to get roughly in the spot that I want it to be. We're gonna hit Command R on a Mac. It's gonna bring up our speed. Here you can drop it down. Let's say we wanna add a speed point and then we'll go over here 
And let's say we wanna do another speed point right here and then we can speed this up by making it, I don't know, 200%. And that is an easy keyboard shortcut to get inside your speed change. Now this next shortcut may seem very simple, but I use it all the time and that's copying and pasting the clip itself. Easiest way I figured out how to do it is just hold option on a Mac, click it, drag it, boom, you're done. That's the easiest way I use this all the freaking time. Lastly, you can set up keyboard shortcuts that are customized to you. Maybe you're coming from Final Cut, maybe you're coming from Premiere Pro, and it doesn't make sense the way DaVinci Resolve has them laid out. If that's something you guys like and you want to do, all you have to do is go up here to DaVinci Resolve in the top left, click on that right here, keyboard customization, boom. You can change any of the keyboard shortcuts right here inside DaVinci Resolve. You can even load in already made ones from Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro that someone has designed to help you out if you're transitioning. There you go, guys. That's some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope you learned something. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'll see you next time. Peace.